Hey guys, today I want to talk about balance and I'm not talking about balancing your crazy hobbies with life and work um, because I wouldn't know a damn thing about that. I am talking about the balance of your rifle system and how that relates to a barricade. So here we have uh, this is my 6GT. This is what I use for centerfire uh, PRS competitions. And you can see it's fairly balanced about four inches in front of my magwell. And that's what I want so that I can place it on a barricade. You can see no hands. And it sits where I put it and it points where I put it. And I can make manipulations to my bag configuration and it will stay right there. And that way, when I get behind the rifle, I'm connected my shoulder to it, but I'm not influencing the back of the rifle nearly as much. And what I often see is people will mount a barricade like this. And so you can see there, I have to now hold the back of the rifle up. And that's where a lot of your wobble comes from. And that's where fatigue sets in and so on and so forth. So balance is really the key. Like this rifle is fairly heavy. It probably weighs, I don't know, 20, 22 pounds or so. And that helps a lot with the recoil and especially these little uh, cartridges, but the weight isn't what is a factor. It's the balance point. So as another example, here we have my gas gun. So this is chambered in six arc, uh, also used for competition. And you can see again, balance point. So I can set it on there on any barricade. And again, this tripod just uh, simulating a barricade, but I can use it in conjunction with my bag and I can get behind the rifle and have, have it well balanced. And as a last example, here's my air gun now these are a little trickier because these weren't really designed for the precision marksman world uh, but you can see same principle i'm balancing it now what you notice here is i'm a little bit further back and i'm kind of getting uh, cramped on my grip and the way that i achieve that is actually by using this plate here and it's an offset plate because if you look my rail ends right here and this is super skinny in this area and using that to balance isn't the best scenario so i have this gray ops plate and that gives me a wide platform and it also allows me to extend my off of this rail, the rail ends here and it gives me the ability to extend back. So significantly lighter. I don't know if I were gonna guess, I'd say 12 pounds or so, 11, 12 pounds. Um, but again, it's all about the balance so that I can place that on my barricade and I can minimize the influence that I'm having to do to the back of the rifle to hold it up. So. The takeaway I want from this um, is it doesn't matter how heavy it is. Um, what matters is where that balance point is. And more importantly, that you place that balance point on the barricade, right? So don't, don't run it up here um, where you're holding up the back of the rifle. Get it right on that balance point, And that will significantly, significantly, excuse me, cut down on your wobble zone and hopefully that will translate to more impacts. So uh, again, as always, don't take my word for it. This has just been my experience, um, but I hope it helps and I hope I see you out on the range. Thanks guys.